to another story we've been following for you here on China 24. The 11 workers trapped underground for two weeks after a gold mine explosion are being treated in a hospital in Qixia, East China's Shandong province. CDTN's Huang Yue has visited some of the miners and spoken to their family members. As one of the last two miners rescued Sunday afternoon, Mr. Wan put his palms together immediately after being pulled from the deep, a gesture of gratitude for all the people who never gave up on him. The 47-year-old was the one to hit the drill pipe back on January the 17th, sending the first signal of life from underground. At the time, he was in a better physical condition than most of the others. With the help of 10 of his fellow workers, he struggled his way towards the drill pipe. I hit the pipe five times, which means we were at the fifth section of the mine. Then I heard nine knocks. I assumed that could have meant we'd been trapped for nine days, so I responded with nine knocks. After that, I heard over 20 knocks, but I didn't understand. I went back to discuss it with the other miners. We thought that could mean the number of the miners on the ground, so I went back and responded with 22 knocks. The miners, trapped a depth of 580 meters, said they will never forget the moment they finally saw the drill pipe reach into their tunnel. At that time, I felt like I was snatched from the jaws of death. We hadn't eaten anything for nine days by then, but everyone immediately stood up after hearing the drill pipe approaching us. I was too excited to describe my feelings in words. The man said there were no food reserves underground because the gold mine was still under construction. The groundwater gushing into their tunnel was undrinkable, but they would still sip a small amount of the water from time to time just to support their lives. During his days of darkness underground, the miners said some were despondent, others optimistic, but all had to put together to boost morale and lift each other's spirits. One thing they never doubted is that rescuers would be on their way to save their lives. The families of the miners are staying in the hotel near the gold mine and have anxiously followed the daily updates. I watched the live stream when they were lifted to the ground, and I immediately recognized my brother because I saw the jade pendant tied with the rest string on his neck. First thing I'll say to my brother will be, it's good to see you alive. Then I'll give him a hug. If he hadn't been rescued, I might never have had the chance to hug him again. So far, the 11 rescued miners are all in a stable condition. They are being taken care of by a special medical team that will continue to assess their psychological state. The explosion occurred on January the 10th, trapping all 22 miners for two weeks. As of Monday, 10 people had been confirmed dead, and one is still missing. Local authorities say the tunnel below a depth of 600 meters has nearly been engulfed by groundwater. But they will continue to search for the last miner after the water is drained. Huang Yue, CGTN, Qixia, Shandong Province.